Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. Well, I said one input and several buttons. Of course, this one input is an analog input. And the basic idea is I want to have a digital analog input. This, this is the goal, yeah? so the digital analog input. How do I want to achieve this with the help of voltage dividers? All right. So actually, the basic principle would look like that. We have here somewhere a voltage plus VCC. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a cascade of resistors. Here. Huh? And here somewhere our analog in. And then I just make make it look like that. This is what I connect into analog in. And, hmm, this is maybe a bad idea. So there's still one resistor left here. All right, so I will make buttons here. All right, and then the voltage, the complete voltage here, from here to here. Is divided in smaller voltages and I can select if I'm using this big voltage, complete VCC, or a little bit less, this part less, or this part less, or this part less, or this part less. If I press more than two buttons, then I would... What is happening then? Right, I would always have the bigger one. I would always have the bigger one. And here is VCC. So this is... The, the, the worst case would be if I press this button and this button at the same time, then I only have this one resistor. So I need this one resistor here. I cannot make another one here because then it would short circuits here simply and this is for sure not good. That's the basic principle. Okay. However, I want more. <laughs> of course I want more. Because actually this should be a handheld device. So I want to have it in my hand. And I don't want to have a wire there, so I have to power it by battery. And I also want to measure the battery. And this has only one analog input. And I want to spend the analog input for the buttons, but I want also to measure the battery. How to achieve this? How to achieve this? Well, I'm going to do this and so this is this here was the principle. Principle. All right. Yes. Principle. I want to measure. I want to measure the battery voltage if no button is pressed. Okay. So actually, I have here. It should look like that. I have here for a butt battery. Yeah. Then I have a resistor. Then I will go with this resistor to the analog in. Mm -hmm. 
If it looks like that, this resistor does not really matter because there is no current, so I will measure directly the battery voltage. Right? And then I will have here a cascade of resistors. On the ground, I always have to think if this is correct. Uh, and I make here my buttons. Mm -hmm. Here I can put one. Let's think about it. If I'm pressing no button, I measure the battery voltage. Yeah? If I'm pressing this button, I'm measuring zero volts. Okay? If I'm pressing this button, I will divide the voltage between this and this. Yeah? If I'm pressing the next button, I will divide the voltage between this and those two, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yeah? So this is how I would prefer. Yeah? So this is with battery measurement. So I have to store somehow the actual base voltage, the actual battery voltage. Yeah? So this is the maximum voltage I can receive. This is the battery voltage. This makes sense? Yes. Sure. Sure. Yeah. The maximum voltage is the battery voltage. So if I store the maximum voltage I'm measuring, then I know this must be the battery voltage. Okay, this I have to find a solution there, software solution. Because the battery voltage is degrading, so it's not only the maximum, I, there must be some logic behind. And whenever I press a button, it's divided, this voltage is divided, and phew, what would be good? How, much, how many buttons would I need? Let's say, let's say, here we have 10k and this is a 1k. Yeah? 10k and these are all 1k. Yeah? 1k, 1k, 1k. Then with this, I would measure a voltage of 0 divided by 10 times v -butt. Here we would measure the voltage 1 divided by 10 for butt. And so on. And here I would measure the voltage n divided by 10 for butt. Here n minus 1 divided by n for butt. Here n minus 2 divided by 10 for butt. Here n minus 3 divided by 10 for butt. This is how this looks like. This is how this looks like. Yeah, I think that's I think that's that could work. I think that could work. From the software side, of course, I will produce an, an object which is which is handling this. Uh, so I only give the input number. I have to give how many ends. And, yeah. I think I can come come up with a solution for this.
this should work. Huh? I also have to think about how many buttons I would like to have. Yeah. Yeah, next time. Build this and make the, the software solution. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.